everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Isle. Today, I am progressing past Utah Raptor, trying to get to Acrocanthosaurus. I just unlocked Allosaurus. So I'm a little distracted here. Trying to get to Hidden Lake. To get some water and maybe some food if there's anything there. So I just got uh, Utah Raptor finished. 60 minutes into Utah Raptor. There was, uh, it was pretty easy actually. There was a lot of Acrocanthosaurus corpses laying around that I was able to feast off of. Play scavenger. Um... All of the herbivores appear to congregate right now at Bridge and or Twin or whatever lake, the one at negative negative. And uh, there was a huge herd there that we could not, we couldn't do anything about it. They were very well organized, protecting each other very thoroughly. So uh, this Allosaurus, I asked to join my pack to help me hunt. Fortunately or unfortunately, he's only like eight minutes away from progressing into an acro, so I'll lose my hunting buddy unless he decides to stay in the group and help me out. But uh, we'll see how this goes. One hour as an Allosaurus. I really want to unlock Acrocanthosaurus for you guys to show you what's up. to galley. So I don't know if uh, everybody's been keeping up with the steam announcements for the aisle. Donnie just posted one about the recent stamina buff that we got. Everything got 10 times stamina. This was a temporary measure as we transition over to Isle V3, which is four times bigger than the current map. Once the transition is complete and everybody has a little bit of a lay of the land, apparently the stamina is going to go back down for each species to four times and or seven times the value that it was originally, respectively, for different dinosaurs, you know, based on their stamina requirements and values. So we'll see how that works. But for now, the whole, you know, trying to run things out of stamina or, you know, being able to take advantage of them as they're running by and knowing that they're going to run out of stamina, more than likely they're going to get to safety before they run out of stamina with the current map. So the chase really isn't a thing right now. It is, but it isn't because the things can forever outrun you. So unless they literally do like a loop of the whole entire island. This map, anyway. Not Region 3. Or ILV 3. That's what the uh, adjustment was made for, and that's what we're going towards. But me being sneaky right now is just so that I don't get snuck up on. Because I would rather see something first and hope that it makes a stupid mistake or, or stops to eat or drink than uh, have something see me first, especially when I'm something so big. Please don't break my leg. That would be great. Mm. 
Nobody ever looks up. Cool, so we found a random Maya wandering the woods. Cool, fuck, that was crazy. I tried to hide and I saw it, and I was lucky that I saw it. I almost didn't see it. That filled me up good. Great hunt. All right.
This corpse might actually get me all the way to the uh, uh, acro. We'll see. And that is why it pays to listen. I actually debated on starting to trot or to run to temple because uh, Amnam suggested that that was one of the best places to hunt. But I waited. I was like, no, we'll trot just in case anything else comes along. I want to be able to listen. And as we're trotting along, I hear these extra footsteps and I immediately stopped and I crouched and I look and I'm like, oh, there's Amaya. I've already got 21 progression points. I have 49 hunger, so I guess technically I will already get there. As long as I stay alive. I think I'll hide up on a mountain. Can't wait till corpse dragging is in. Although this one is nice and relatively hidden. But corpse dragging is going to make a huge difference. You could literally drag a corpse up a mountain. Or into a crook in the land. Oh, a divot. This is kind of decent. I like the new head movement on the aloe. It looks really pretty. Really smooth. This is my food and I will guard it with my life. So I want to show you guys the roars and stuff, but I'm terrified to do so because I would be giving away my position. So as soon as I get the opportunity to do so, I will do so. I don't know if I've actually showcased the Allosaurus Roars, and if I have, they may have changed since then. Halfway to Acra. So currently it's only three hours to re reach Acrocanthosaurus, while it's four and a half to reach adult T-Rex, because Herrera, you start with Herrera, and then it takes 30 minutes to get to juvenile T-Rex, but then from there, no, it's four and a half hours, because from there it takes 120 minutes or two hours to get to sub-adult, and then 120 more minutes to get to adult. So you have to survive for a long-ass time to reach adult Rex. Highly feasible. Doable. Apparently we get more than five food with each bite, so I'm going to try and time my bites better. Yeah, I do get ten, pretty sure, because that was... I let my hunger get down to 43. Om nom nom. Om nom nom nivor. Om nom nom nivor. <laughs>
I, those footsteps freaked me out because it sounded like it came from all around me and I freaked out. Damn, that thing looks sexy. It looks like it's grinning. Yeah, those footsteps are really cool. I think it has the same animation for eating as the aloe. I like it. I always check up in that spot. I always feel like there's something watching me. They really do look like they're grinning. Permission received.
now we sit here and we guard our food and wait for me to progress. Oh shit, so we can hear Suko really, really close. Sounds like it's uh, also in the presence of Ostroraptors. I'm not sure. Where it's going. Or what's going on.
was going to tell him that this food is still here if you want to top off, but he walks really loud and I don't want the Ostroraptors to hear anything. That was fucking intense. It stopped. Oh god, this is terrifying. I'm two minutes away from progressing and there's another large carnivore nearby. <laughs> 